Okay, so today's cooking tip is actually several tips because I've been slacking. Hello, sous chef. Um, anyway, so I'm making roasted tomato sauce and the first thing you wanna do is rinse your tomatoes, take out the core, don't forget to put them into your little freezer bag for your soup later. And then you have them um, this way from the core down. So just like that. And then what you do is you just run your finger. And actually I should do this. To, no, don't you jump. Um, to get the juices in here. But if you run your finger in here, the seeds will make it a little bit more bitter. So that's not what you want to do. Um, so run your finger all the way underneath. Make sure you get all those seeds out, but keep that juice because that's gonna be really good in your broth. So you do that. And then come over here to our baking sheet, which is just a little bit of olive oil. And then these are um, fresh herbs from my mom's herb garden that I've just kind of scattered around a little bit. Um, next tip, which I'm sure a lot of you know, is that if you're going to get garlic out of the peel easily and you're not, you don't need it beautiful, then what you do is you just smash it. And it'll just peel right out. Um, and then one thing I just learned recently is that if you're gonna make roasted, you got a little peel there, hold on. If you're gonna make roasted tomato sauce, then what you wanna do is you wanna tuck the cloves of garlic underneath the tomatoes and the moisture from the tomatoes will keep it from burning. And then also the, um, the garlic will infuse the actual tomato. So then I cook it at, and, and just, you can scatter and it doesn't have to be perfect, all the herbs. I mean, I've got rosemary and basil and oregano here. Uh, thyme would also work. Um, uh, if your tomatoes are a little bit dry, drizzle them with a little bit more oil. And then I cook at 325 for about 25 to 30 minutes. You have to check uh, and then you can peel off the skins, get rid of the very large herbs, add a little salt, and um, just puree it. And it makes a wonderful tomato sauce.